Hi, kiddos. Do you recognize him? Huh? Bet you do. Got a very special book today. Today, this book I was given years and years ago by a dear friend of mine, and I promised I'd read it every year. So, this is it. It's Hanukkah, but it's the Count's Hanukkah, which makes it even more fun. See, look at it. That's a menorah, but I'll tell you all about it. This is your furry blue monster, Grover, here. I would like to tell you about an awesome Hanukkah party we had on Sesame Street with our friends from Israel, Abigail and Brosh. Wow, those are interesting names. Yeah. Grover checked his list one more time. Hi, said the Count. What's on the paper you're reading? Grover showed him. It's my grocery list. Brock and Abigail are here from Israel and, and visiting Brosh's Aunt Sarah and Uncle Joe and the twins and, and Sam and, and Sadie. They came to celebrate the eight nights of Hanukkah. Tonight is the first night and I'm doing the shopping. Grover was so proud of that. I bet you didn't know that the furry blue monsters are excellent shoppers. I don't know. What do you think, kiddos? Huh? And there's the count. He's one of my favorite guys. Yes, I love the Count. Do you guys love the Count? Hope so, because the, the Count read onions, that's one, potatoes, that's two, apples, that's three. You have eight things to buy. Oh, how I love the number eight. Ah, ah, ah. Would you like to come and celebrate with us, asked Grover. There's always room for one more. Wonderful. Aunt Sarah, Uncle Joe, and, Sa and Sadie made four. Brush and Abigail made six. And you and I make eight guests. And eight is the perfect Hanukkah number. Grover was a monster in a hurry. I'll see you tonight, Count. We have to light the candles just after sunset. I'll be there eight minutes before, said the Count. Yeah, eight minutes before. Back home, everyone began getting ready. Grover and Bross were peeling potatoes for latkes, and Aunt Sarah was measuring the oil. Abigail was helping Uncle Joe polish the menorah, and Sam and Sadie were setting the table. All good kids. Knock, knock. Who was that at the door? Knock, knock. Sam opened the door. Wait, said the Count. I'm not finished. Two more knocks make eight. Eight is the perfect Hanukkah number. See, he's getting into it, isn't he? Yeah. So, for you kiddos that don't know, have you been asking yourself, well, not sure what Hanukkah is? Well, Hurry, we're about to light the menorahs, Sam, said Sam, pulling the count over to the window, and Sarah lit the smash candle, the helper candle. Brosh whispered to Grover, it's, it lights the others. Can Abigail light tonight's candle, Uncle Joe, asked Abigail. After the blessings, he answered, everyone joined hands as they sung special Hebrew words. Now Uncle Joe told Abigail, I'll help you light the first candle. The Count was confused. Where are the other candles? We need eight. No, 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 said Brosh. Tonight we light one candle with the Shamas. Tomorrow we light two, and we'll add another candle each night. On the last night of Hanukkah, we'll use the Shamash to light oil eight candles. Ah, ah, eight candles, eight nights. I like it, said the Count. Eight is the perfect Hanukkah number. See, that's so far we, we, know, we know a little bit, don't we, kiddos? 
Yeah, there's eight nights of Hanukkah. Yeah. I've gotten Hanukkah gifts. They do exchange gifts, too, with friends. Uncle Joe, will you tell us the Hanukkah story, asked Brush. And here it goes from Grandpa Ken instead. Long, long ago, Uncle Joe began, there was a powerful king named Antichrist. He wouldn't allow the Jewish people to pray their own way. Many Jews refused to do what Antichrist commanded. Judah Macca Maccabee and his small, brave army fought for a long time. The Maccabees finally won. They were free to practice their own religion again. Hooray! cheered Abigail. See, it's their story of explaining what Hanukkah is, kiddos. It, so here it goes. So they won the battle. Then what? Uncle Joe continued. Now they had to fix the temple which Antiquilus, Antiquiles and his soldiers had ruined. There was enough oil to light the temple's lamp for one night only. But a miracle happened. The oil burned for eight straight days and eight straight nights. Hanukkah celebrates the victory of Judah's small army and the miracle of the oil. See, that's what it's about. They're saying, they're celebrating the miracle that saved them. Yeah, and they, and they fixed their temple. Yeah, then what? Then what, huh? And that's why Hanukkah lasts eight days, asked Grover. You bet it. That's right, said Aunt Sarah, as she put a plate of the latkes on the table. And dinner is ready. The Count looked at the plate of latkes. Oh, no, there are nine latkes, said the Count. But don't worry, I can fix that, said Grover. He popped one in his mouth. Then the Count popped one. Oh, yes. Now, eight is the perfect Hanukkah number. That's silly, said Sadie, giggling. <laughs> but they all followed the Count's example and took exactly eight bites of everything. Delicious latkes applesauce, and jelly donuts. After the dinner, they even sang eight verses of the Hanukkah song. See? They're all sitting at the table. Now, there's always different celebrations by different people. That's why I say happy holidays uh, started to get near Thanksgiving because there's like 14 celebrations. The Count set a bag on the table. I bought a small gift for each of you. He counted as he passed them out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Sadie noticed one was left over. What's that for? Me, said the count. Seven Hanukkah presents aren't enough. Makes mine eight. Eight is the perfect Hanukkah number. See, they gave Hanukkah gifts. Yeah. It's sometimes, it's kind of like how we celebrate Christmas season. It's the same type of season that's thankful and everybody loves everybody because we're celebrating love. Can I go get the dwindle now, said Sam. Aunt Sarah smiled. Yes, we'll all play. The Count frowned. Only one dwindle. Sam giggled again. <laughs> Everything in Hanukkah doesn't have to be eight. Brosh dropped a handful of chocolate gelt on the floor and was about to explain the rules. The gelt's like uh, chocolate coins. Ah, the count interrupted. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight chocolate coins. Eight is the perfect Hanukkah number. <laughs> he really has got that one down, doesn't he, kiddos? Yeah, eight is the perfect Hanukkah number because it lasts eight days. And don't worry, said the Count. I'll be back seven more nights to light all eight candles. Oh dear, chuckled Aunt Sarah as they began to play. After a while, Grover looked at the clock. Count, it's eight o'clock. Is that not the perfect time to 
end our totally awesome Hanukkah party? Bah, Fink agreed the count. And then he added, hip, 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 hip. That's eight hips. Hooray for Hanukkah. See, they were playing their game together as a, all as a bunch of friends and family. It doesn't get any better than that, kiddos. That's Hanukkah, okay? That's Hanukkah. And it's just a celebration of the Hebrews celebrating a time when they know they should say thank you and love one another. And that's what this is all about. So can everybody have a good Hanukkah and love one another? And remember, your smiles, give them away. Give them away to everybody you meet so they know you're the good person. See you, kiddos, and happy Hanukkah.